Yo, it's Joe, and welcome to another video. Today we're going to be reacting to the making of Your Turn to Roll by the legend of Vox Machina. I don't know why I haven't reacted to this yet. You guys have seen me react to like the beginning of the show, as well as one of the first animations of the legend of Vox Machina, and it had Laura's vocals in the back. It's been a minute since I've heard it with the vocals in the back. I've just heard the instrumental from the show, so this will be cool. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Like magic and oh, there's Ash. Is it mainly Ashley singing and Laura's doing backup vocals, or do they alternate? We'll see. Hold on. This is interesting already. Roll the dice. Critical roll. I'm Sam Regal. I am a hey, cast it's member of Critical the dude, Role. And the dude, I wrote Sam. The theme song for The Legend of Vox Machina. So you wrote Actually, it. Okay, the sir. The way that happened was me asking Sam, hey, you made that jingle for D&D Beyond that was so incredible. Do you have any other, you know, stuff flying around in your brain? Wow, so his jingle for D&D Beyond came before this? That's when they knew. They were like, hold on, Sam. Sam might be goaded with the songwriting. And of course, Scanlan's the character that he plays in the show. Uh, it fits. And he sent me back an acapella version. The beat is like... There will be drums. The vocals are something like the adventure begins. They will always beside you. Taking my initial uh, demo and turning it into a really cool song. That's which awesome. It, which oh wow, man, actually. Sam is just um, great. We, we turned to our friend Jason Charles Miller, who did the original composition of the original theme song. I took your theme and I wrote lyrics to it and I put a melody over top of it and I was like. Okay, that's interesting. Let me hear this. Roll, roll, critical, critical. Like just him all a cappella over top of it. That's but so when cool. I heard it, I said, okay, cool. Then we can add this here. And we can do that there. We can put the original melody back in here. We got uh, a violinist named Cole, Cole, Cole McGinnis. McGinnis huh? I'm saying that wrong. We got my brother in law, Peter Habib, of the producing duo, Mr. Fantastic. They put cool. in some thumping drums. When it came time to do vocals, we were like, you know what? We really need the ladies on this. It would sound incredible. Hell yeah, dude. Ashley and Laura would sing on it. I, of course, was very, very nervous, but. You know, it was fun. Travis was sitting right there, and like I can look like an idiot. In <laughs> the front ultimate of me. hype man. The reason I get really uncomfortable is like Travis is there. Okay. In we front of your husband. Out Come on, Laura. You know he's just as silly as you are. Amazing, Mark. I think Ronan was just born, so Laura was in there holding a uh, little baby Ronan. Bro, their baby's name is Ronan. Oh my God! If they weren't cool enough, they gave their baby the name Ronan, like he's a freaking ninja. That's a badass name. Two months old, maybe when we were recording. She's it? I think literally he was younger, holding him. Wow. She started crying when we were recording <laughs> it. What's weird is I think those were the takes that we ended up using for the song because focusing on that made it way more comfortable to actually do the singing. I don't know if any uh, uh, How? suckling sounds made it up to the track. <laughs> <laughs> I guess like taking your mind off of how silly it may seem or how, you know, whatever she was nervous about, I guess. Hey, whatever works, bro. That's awesome. Sam kept going, like, more rock and roll, more rock and roll, <laughs> go as over the top as you can think, yeah. because I guess. When Ashley recorded, she came over to my house, actually, which is a much smaller booth. She laid down her vocals late at night after she had been doing a video game job all day, I think. She, she wow. was, she must have been exhausted, but she didn't seem like it, because she just filled her side of the vocals as well. I pitched my voice down. You got a deep voice. Do you want to go in and do it? And I was like, no, no, I love it the way it is. He's like, no, nah, come on, let's. Let's really go in there. My contribution to the piece was actually going into the booth and bouncing as I did it, going, roll, critical, roll, <laughs> and trying to sound it came as, out uh, fire. as tough and determined as I could, even though I could see all of their laughing faces as I bounced up and down <laughs> like, a little, like a little baby. I knew that uh, uh, yep. one of the motifs mm -hmm. we were going to try to do. So they came up with all these ideas and put this together before the show, and it came out great. Like, it still holds up wonderfully. Like, this animation here is amazing. You don't know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. You don't know where the story's going to lead. So you just kind of have to go for it. I think the thing that sticks out the most is the roll the dice part of it. Because Vex was always one to take chances. The lyrics for your turn to roll uh, embody really sort of the spirit of our early home game which is like a bunch of friends <laughs> getting together, being nerdy as hell, rolling some dice, not really caring Dude, what comes out so of your cool. mouth. Look at how short 
Matt's hair is no shot. Way, bro, being nerdy as hell, rolling some dice. Look at that. And his hair is so long now. It just goes to show how long this thing's been going on for. He's literally like an anime protagonist where you can tell if there's been a time skip seeing how his hair got longer. Or what other people think of you. Brave Look at little baby Travis or, over there too. Or what other Look at him. Oh. People think hey, Is that Travis? That's fucking Travis. Yo, he looks so different. Take on brave, courageous personas, try and right wrongs or maybe cause wrongs, depending on what your character is, and just jumping into that adventure and letting yourself go. And when the time comes, roll the dice and see what happens. It's, mm -hmm. it's an adventuring party for a reason, right? Mm -hmm. Sheesh. You know what, man? We're about to make this video a little bit longer because you know what I'm going to do? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. The adventure begins. There are always beside you. Your nerdy best friends. And, and the DM to guide you. I love how the character designs are like simpler here, but they're still exactly the same. There's like minor tweaks, but they got this down in this animation. They did fantastic here. They got magic and fire. They got I remember <laughs> I remember the first time I saw this and I was like, what's that artifact that's there? Literally a D20. That's just a magical D20. <laughs> oh boy, good times, good times. Is this supposed to be like a mock brim scythe? Nah. Nah, cause it's, it's a chick. Alright, alright. Maybe there's gonna be a lady dragon creature thing. Listen to the drums again at the end there. Ooh, fire. Fuego. So I hope you enjoyed my little reaction to the making to it. It was cool to see that his D and D Beyond thing is what kind of inspired him to take another crack at an intro for their song. Sam, I mean, is like a, such a natural like songwriter, and he just does a good job. And he's just, you can tell that he's got like that theatrical side that he gets to just have fun with all the time and put on full display. The thing about it is, like I said, he's just actually really good with the stuff that he does. He's very good at singing. He's very creative with the songwriting. Like he's. Phenomenal and the the crew was great for supporting him and they all pitched in even Travis and uh, Laura being like new new parents new new to the parent game You know what I'm saying? They still went in there Laura putting in the vocals while holding little uh, little Ronan Travi going in there jumping up and down saying critical Roll. You know what I'm saying? Everything went together very well I appreciate seeing things like this and I also like to look back on like videos like this that I've seen and just it's it's so cool just to see how everything came together again man every time i see something like this i get excited again like i get I, it's like i never get tired of this stuff like their content and just seeing the process because it's just so crazy how it started from something so small of just friends trying to just getting together and trying something out some people in that group had no idea what dnd was and never played it before and it's blossomed into this like every time dude it just never ceases to amaze me Never ceases to make me happy, because that's awesome. Like, when something like that happens for somebody, that's just great. I'm going to stop rambling, though. You do all the good things. You know what I'm talking about. Have a good morning, afternoon, or night. I appreciate all you guys, and uh, yeah, man. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.